Welcome back. Round of TV reviews. And it's your boy, Stanley. Look, we back. Hey. See, welcome huh? back to church. We're here. We're having summer revival. Hey. We're so glad that you came back. Because y'all know we only see y'all And we doing a revival here. the whole week. No, we just, we, we ending tomorrow. No, nah, we going the whole week. I just won't be here for the rest of the week. Okay. Yeah. Because you got to work tomorrow. Now, don't I? <laughs> That's what the revivalists do. They keep you yeah. in church all freaking night because yeah. they ain't got nowhere to go exactly. but, but home. But anyway, welcome to Calvary Baptist Church. Like I said, we don't see y'all every year. No, we do see y'all every year. Yeah, we do. And um, go ahead and join the church, which means go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Indeed. Go ahead and rate the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, because that lets us know whether you like the service today or what. Exactly. But guess what? It don't even matter. You already here. Exactly. Make yourself familiar with the ushers. We got some ushers that's going to be down in the comment section. We got some got doing head trustees. We, we got, got some administrators. We got some armor bearers down there. They don't play no skit. Yeah, we got some prophets, channel. some apostles down there. So yeah. we're we going to get into Greenleaf because y'all know last time we left off, Bishop Lester Wallace was going into the Biltmore Hotel yep. after Coochie Cross. Huh. Now, ever since last year's revival ended to this one began, I've been trying to figure out did what? they did he bust did they bust it open? Yeah, they, yeah. What he doing at hotel? Well, come find out. Bishop said, you know what? I am a man of the cross. And I'm still married. And regardless of what my wife does on the other side of these vows and this ring, I'm still the man that God has in his image. I said, come on, Bishop. I mean, that sounds good and everything right here, Bishop. Yeah, but you forgot about the scripture that said, don't let your good be evil spoken of. So when you went into the hotel, it was huh? like you were about fitting to get between them legs. So the damage already done. Exactly. So you might as well went on. And Dick will have the nerve to ask her, well, why you ain't ordering no room service? She said, because I ain't wanted to look like something that it ain't. Yeah. But since you still here. I can do a little something, something. I can, I can, I can still take some of that stress off of you right here. He said, like I told you, I'm mm -hmm. still. I'm but you can tell he was struggling, though. No, won't he? He was struggling. I yeah, wait he was for, struggling. I wait for his glasses to fog up. He was struggling so goddamn <laughs> bad. <laughs> so now that Coochie Cross realizes that she has to do more than just be cute, flirt with the bishop to get her way around the bishop, she's deciding to. In a slick little way, she's letting her presence really be known. Yep. She's floating in and out of Calvary like she's on staff. Yeah, just, just going to walk on up in his office, you know, like like he one of the ministers or the administrator. The administrator was looking at her. She tried, at one point, she tried to grab the mail and take the mail in there to the bishop. And the administrator was like, uh-uh. Um, no. But the administrator, I'm going to skip ahead and I'm going to go back. The administrator, I, I like what she did because Gigi had went to see her father. In his office. And Coochie Cross was also in that office. Yeah. She stopped by the administrator. Now, if the daughter has respect enough to stop by the administrator table. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Exactly. She stopped by. She said, oh, Bishop's free. Go on, on in there. Go on, on in there. Go on, on in there. And when Gigi walked in there, Coochie Cross is in there. And they hurried up and closed the meeting. Talking about I'll see you tomorrow at, at church. church. <laughs> I said, okay. Bishop, you're going to have to do better than this. So now we're going to skip over to... So, no, Sophia. Sophia's going through it a little bit because y'all know how when it is when you do right and then another result comes by you doing right, mm -hmm. you starting to feel some kind of way about your decision. Yeah. That's what Sophia is feeling right now because y'all know we realize that Ms. Zora, the weed explorer, has run away. So now we got Charity. She's coming back from off the road because she went to Nashville because you know she's over there with um, Jabari and all of the um, singing disciples, she had to come back because <laughs> Zor is missing. Okay, so they're all at this table sitting down, you know, having a uh, come to Jesus moment, really trying to take in what's happening right now. Yeah. There came a point where Gigi wanted to give her mama kind of like a, a good space to kind of just feel how she feels at the moment. And this is where I said First Lady May is on her bullshit. Again. Again. Basically told her, ever since you came back here, 
Yeah. It has been nothing but hell. Hell, hell, hell. And your name is Grace. And you don't know nothing about none of that. And you told me that when you came back, you weren't coming back to show no discord. So all this bullshit right here is your fault. I was like, how? How? It looked like to me, all this dysfunction was going on prior to her coming back. I, 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 I keep saying this. I don't mean to cut you off. Oh, you can go ahead. I keep saying this. And we talked about it um, last night. When we, yeah. We laid in the bed and watched it last night. I know we said last year that we swear to God that Lionel is Gigi's father. Because uh, there is a clear difference in yeah. how Lady May treats Gigi exactly. than she treats these other kids. Exactly. What is going on? Now, we're not going to go into the color thing because we know that two darker hued individuals can have a really light baby so we exactly. ain't even go there in real life but in tv life do you think this by design yeah it's is yes yeah, it's, it's something something is up why is it's she something. hair so now bad? i understand she disappeared dis disappeared 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 for 20 years after her sister died but that still ain't no reason to treat her like she a step kid that's why she treating her like she came into the family. And I really, up. I really didn't want you here, but you just came with the package deal with your daddy. But I really don't like you from the beginning. That's the way she treating her. She do treat her like she a stepkid. She yeah. really does. So later on, we did see that Zora the Weed Explorer was found, and her father brought her hot pots back home. <laughs> he is hot. She <laughs> was in a rinky dink motel about ten miles. Um, ahead of the no, um, city limits. Roach Motel. Roach Motel. South Side Inn. Running around with this boy. Jacob went clean, clean off. off. And Zora the Weed Explorer is giving it right back to him. And I said, see, see, you smelling yourself, Zora? See, 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 that's why I'm telling y'all watch that I prefer tag that we did. That's a <laughs> clear reason why you want a boy. I just want a boy because if that had been a boy, Jacob would have hit that ninja ray straight in his chest. I'm telling you. But he did push Zora. He pushed her, but if it was a, it was a little ninja, she he would have right in his goddamn chest. So you can't do that to her, see. You can't do that. She <laughs> running off in the mouth a little too much. Go no, put her in lockdown in her room. She talks so oh, so I can eat. I I get eating privileges here. There would have been another punch right in the chest. <laughs> Just like that. Say, no, you can't breathe till you catch your goddamn wind. Exactly. And I was surprised that Clarissa really wasn't going in on her. Yeah. I was like, okay, mama. But tag I, team, tag but I, team. But, but I understand, though. It's <laughs> usually like that with parents. Is one parent go hard in and the other one be the, the soft shell, you know. Because Clarissa, that's probably how she got Jacob. <laughs> But you ain't heard it from me. So she can't say nothing because she realizes that that's the seed she sowed. Exactly. Mm hmm And first of all, how is this player freaking out? What was his nickname we call him? I can't even remember. I'm going to call him Pimp C. Was it Isaiah Brown? I can't remember what we used to call him. I'm going to call him Pimp. How do you expect to get the respect of her father running off with her to the middle of nowhere? Where did he do that at? Even if you was considering the one to marry her, he ain't going to accept you. Hold on, you going too far. You know these kids don't think about no goddamn marriage. That's that why I say if he even consider it. Oh, no, it ain't even considered. Yeah. So he can come and be like, hey, can I get your daughter? Hell no. Mm -mm. That's what he going to say. Hell no. Mm -mm. And the part that tripped me out was Zora. Because her and Jacob still going back and forth, back and forth. And Zora gonna tell him, say, you better be lucky that he didn't press charges on you. And don't think I didn't know that you ain't made a deal not to get the charges. Sir. Zora. Right in the chest. If it had been a little ninja. Um, but at the same time, you know, you know the likings of what you're dealing with. Because <laughs> exactly. you know they make deals with some folk to exactly. get out of some skit. So eventually, Zora went to her room and you saw a scene where her and her mom. And she actually started to feel bad about what she did and the predicament that she put her father in. Mm -hmm. And she was like, dad could have really got into some skit over this. Yep. And she was crying and she was like, you know, she basically, she's a daddy's girl. Yeah. And she, you can tell that, she, I mean, her little feelings was hurt that she could see the hurt in her daddy. And I'll say this, 
these shows here lately have been giving it to me when it comes to the black man standing up and being fathers. Yeah. We have Ralph Angel. Yep. We got Jacob. Yep. Oh, you won't mess with my kid? Oh, this is the side of me that you ain't never seen exactly. before. See, I might be the pastor of the church, but I still will I will kick your, your mother bucket and I will knock you out, pal, like he did at that goddamn ball. And I like it. Now. I like it. Now, I, I like it. He was wrong, but I like it. <laughs> it Pastors took, is thugs, too. No, but no, what I'm saying is she could have, he could have lost everything from punching that boy. But it's, uh, but I like it. Sometimes it worth it though. Yeah, just, just risk it all. Risk it all. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about rolling up on your daughter again. Huh. Or you. So sometimes you got to take it Man, that aggression on Isaiah was actually for his dad. He just couldn't hit his dad. It could so be. So hit him. It could be. That was the last straw. You fuck with my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, being that lady may don't put Bishop out right. And that's why he was standing at the building. No, no, you correction. He was ejected. He was, he was ejected out of his home. <laughs> I said, Bishop, do what? He said, you the one that ejected me out of my home. What? <laughs> you and your 50 pad glass. Yeah. I love Bishop and his glass. I'm Man, he to have a glass to go with every outfit he put on. Uh-huh. So over there at Jacob's church. This is the part where everybody got some financial issues going on in that church. Hmm. Bishop gets, see this girl Brittany. Brittany's a little too comfortable yeah, just she busting too. in on you, telling you what, she, what you, you didn't ask for. Yeah. In a way that she just wants to give it to you. So Brittany comes and she tells um, Jacob, listen, ever since y'all took on the real church, we took on the real church, this church has become a money pit. Money is flowing out of here, but it's not flowing in here. Jacob's trying to explain to her that next month we're going to start streaming. Money is going to start coming in that way. Yeah. Brittany is like, no, homeless people don't don't give. They don't pay tithes <laughs> and they don't pay offering. So basically, we're doing a whole lot of this, but we ain't getting a whole lot of this coming in. And you need to shut this skit down because the numbers are off. <laughs> Jacob is not trying to hear it. Basil Skank's wife, um, First Lady Keisha Cole, she came in there and I said, okay, she about to do something. Because mm -hmm. you know her at Coochie Cross revealed that they sister-in-law. Yeah. They working together. She told Jacob, said, um, Brittany would never talk to Basil Skanks like that. If <laughs> if I were in your position, I would fire her. I, I said, said, okay, yeah, now yeah. she ain't here um, planting these seeds. I'm uh, planting them seeds. So, yeah. of course, Jacob being, oh, man. And that ego kick in. Yeah. He tells Clarissa what she said. Clarissa said, mm, don't. Nah, we I ain't gonna really. About it. Yeah. Don't make no moves without me. Don't. You know, this girl is good at her job. Can't deny that. She's been here for a very long time. So sometimes, you basically, you're gonna have to eat the meat and spit out the bones with this one, Jacob. Well, Miss Brittany came back to Jacob one more again. Yeah. And this time, he went clean off. off. You're fired. You're fired. Leave. Leave now. <laughs> and even Clarissa was like, uh, I thought that we were going to talk about this. So that played right into what First Lady Keisha Cole Skanks wanted. Mm -hmm. And I said, Keisha Cole Skanks, you know I like you, right? Because I like me old hood uh, First Lady. I told y'all yeah. that. She got that guy doing necklace in them hands right here. Yeah. From the um, beauty supply <laughs> store at the case. Yeah. That's yeah. cost $2.99. Uh, <laughs> I said, Kishko, they got no, them hands were sitting up here like they're just as big as mine. <laughs> I said, Kishko, sit your high paws down. Ooh. And don't, don't, don't. I'm going to say this. Uh-oh. Kishko, skanks. T.I. and Tiny is my family. Hey, uh-oh. Just remember that. I ain't playing with you. I ain't playing. And now, I saw you, and I saw you, I saw you for your works. Because <laughs> it looks like in the future, you're going to try to mess with another family member of ours. Uh-huh. Jacob. Yeah. And I'm not playing nah, with you. Nah, we ain't here for it. We ain't here for it. Well, I said he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have fired Brittany. No, he, he shouldn't have. He should have just sat her down to show her that she can't just bust up in there and run her mouth like that. After all, I'm the pastor. I'm the leader. 
So the final decision is actually really mine. And all the risks are on me. And teach her how to, to approach him. When she came, right, you, you got to have more coming in than you going out or you're going to fall flat on your face. The church is going to fall. But you can't come in there going to him like that's your brother. But why is she that comfortable, though? Yeah. Now, first so of all, obviously, school, obviously she must be talking to Skanks that That's way. what I'm saying. Yeah. She had to be. Yeah. But is she a family member of his, dude? Probably. Yeah, because even she called Keisha Cole Skanks afterwards. And, you know, she was like, oh, oh, oh. Then when she got off the phone with her, she was like, oh, oh, she, oh <laughs> she needs to grow up. <clears throat> so then come to find out, we're going to switch back over to Calvary. First lady comes over to the church. Because you know her and Bishop ain't on speaking terms. But she ended up coming on over there to the church. In the office, Bishop released to her. Well, not released. Um, Told Let her know. Yeah. <laughs> he ejected it on her. <laughs> <laughs> that, listen. Let me go ahead and give you the short version of what this IRS letter say. It say that, um... We owe two million dollars. I was like, with yeah. The, with the 60 days, 90 days. They got 90 days to pay two million dollars. Or we are going to be charged with tax evasion. I say, God. And he basically no. said, with your brother, Mac, the shakedown that he did, he took to the grave with him because yeah. this skit don't rose up on us. I say, God, don't Mac is dead and still causing problems. Still in the family. causing problems. Two million dollars, though? <sighs> But at the end of the day, I'm going to play devil's advocate. It's still the bishop's fault. You never, ever put nobody else's be responsible for your taxes, man. Uh -uh. You better look into it. Look at all these people who went down for that. Well, Wesley Snipes had taxes issues. Um, I heard that, uh, what's his name? Uh, was it Red Fox? He had tax issues, I believe. There's a whole lot of them celebrities that had tax issues and lost every goddamn thing because they blame it on somebody else. Mm -hmm. IRS on here. You know, they say it's, it's separation of church and state until you owe them ninjas some money. Hello. Huh? So, first lady was like, hold on, hold on. What you're not going to do is blame my brother for the skit that's going on right here. And I said, you know what? First lady. She, she always still defending him. Even after she know that, that he done molested faith, she still defend him. And tried to attack. And nope, didn't try. Attack. Gigi, but exactly. you know, she don't care nothing about that part. Nah, she don't care about that. She's the stepchild, that's why. And, and <laughs> that's she that, has a that's stepchild, that would that's how she say. acts. Yep, so um, Bishop was like, you know what? What we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to come together, we're gonna have to play nice, and we're gonna have to act like we're together. And we're going to have to start shaking down some folk and kissing some high parts. And especially that, that lottery lady. lady. Uh -huh. And hit that power ball. We, I said, God, no, this lady ain't going to have no money. When nope. After it's all said and done. She the only person that can depend on. Yep. She more like Jesus than if you ask me. She the one providing. Say, so call her up and tell her what, what you want. want. God, darn. She providing the fishes and the loaves. Wow. Ooh. So the first lady said this. She said, no, no, no. This is not what I'm doing. And she mm. took me for a loop. She threw me for a loop. Because she said, Dad, it's a thin line between keeping up appearances and hypocrisy. And I said, if she, she said, said it's a thin, thin line, line between love, love and hate, I would have just I, walked away. I was like, Bishop, you better run. You be Matter of fact, Bishop, you better not get no tub around her. You know how much I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, okay. So she said she ain't gonna do it. She said, I can respect her for something like that, to be honest. She said, nope. I'm I can gonna, and I can't. I'm not gonna play the game. Cause she acting like she ain't never messed with Lionel. <laughs> you and you have the matter of fact, you try to sleep with Lionel Ray in that house. Did she try to sleep with him? I don't remember. But they real got remember, real cold. Cause you remember she, she was, was drinking. She was back there drinking the brown liquor, and she started making passes at him, and he wouldn't conf uh, go in what she was doing, and she got pissed off. And that's when Bishop knew something was going on, cause he ended up going home after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that brown liquor wanted to make her pants come down, <laughs> but he pulled them back up <laughs> and hurt her polo oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So no, she said she 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 just ain't gonna do it. So the next thing we look, I said, when did Jacob become so important to the family here? Next thing we know, we go back over to Jacob's house. His phone start ringing. It's first lady. 
she talking. No, it was Bishop. Bishop first. And Bishop was like, you know, this, that, and the third. Now he's talking in Jacob's ear about what's going on with the mom. I got you, mama. Put me out. Have you ever heard? Do you know what it is to live with the people that angry mom? <laughs> that ejected me from my home. Click up the pops. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jacob, <laughs> I need to talk to you about your before. D did you put my dad out? He said, did, you, did he tell you what he did? <laughs> Click. Gigi was like, Jacob, we need to talk. He, he said, was like, yeah. yes, we do. <laughs> so he on the phone with all of them at the same dad go time. <laughs> so next thing we know, the kids don't have a meeting. They had to sit down, eat some pizza and drink some wine, and they need to talk about the skit that's going down. So Gigi said, listen, I'm going to tell y'all what's going down, how it happened, and we're going to just take it from here. They in a bad situation. Yeah. Aunt Mavis. She revealed <laughs> that what we thought was a, a one-time deal was something that happened a few times. It was an ongoing affair. And uh, Mama knows, and that's why Daddy's Tom Parts is out. He got ejected out of the house. <laughs> so Charity was like, what? I, I, I'm coming from a broken home? Jacob said, what are you, 12? What you, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, I was like, where'd that come from? <laughs> Younger child syndrome. The baby yeah. child syndrome. So they all talking. It was like, hold on, wait a minute. This, 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 this don't. And then Gigi was like, yeah, and there's some more. And basically, she's like, I'm, I'm on to this other chick that's been coming up and around the church. But she ain't really tell them nothing like that. Yeah. She just let them know that evil lurks. <laughs> so next thing we know, Charity tells Gigi, you need to fix this. I said, here I was we like, go. here we go with this bull again. Everybody blames Gigi. All for blame roads lead to Gigi. She breaks everything and then she has to fix everything in their mind. Yeah. It's because she told her when you came home, you was the one that got them back talking again. They wasn't even talking. Yeah, so so I, so I guess she was saying if you never came back and, and had them talking, you she would have never told her that she slept with, with Bishop a many times. There go on, Gigi. Oh, Lord. I think you just need to leave, Gigi. Go back home. Yeah, go, go back, back. Go back home. Go back Fox. for another 20 years. <laughs> so now it's time to go to church. First lady, May, was like, mm -mm, I'm not even going to do it this Sunday. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the hypocrites that don't go to church do, I but I'm going to figure it out today. <laughs> so she didn't go. She ended up going somewhere, sitting down, eating. You could tell that she was missing her co-partner in crime, you know, because there's no one sitting across from her. And she, mm -hmm. you know, having her moment and whatnot. She goes to the water, you know, that water. Then, you know, that peace that you can only get from the water and all yeah. that good stuff. So, eventually, we see her end up over there at trial. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, what's going on here? So, she starts peeking through the doors and, you know, she's... Jacob is obviously wrapping up church service. You know, he can ready to go to the 9 o'clock service. And <laughs> First Lady Keisha Cole Skanks <coughs> was like, First Lady, <coughs> what are you doing? Why you, know, you not at Calvary? Why you not at Calvary? Well, here she go. Here she so, go. So, you know, she was like, would you like some tea? And then First Lady was like, this is what they got you doing? No. But you were the First Lady as if like being, she looked like she was the head of hospitality, to be honest. Yeah. Like, Service someone else's tea was beneath a first lady. I was like, come on, first lady, we with the skits. Nah. So first lady Keisha Cole Skates lets her know, say, hey, I'm blessed. You know, I'm I ran into this first lady <laughs> that her husband left her for a younger woman. She ended up having to stay at one of them places off to the highway and ended up she fell down some steps. She can't even talk and want her eyes like this. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm blessed, honey. I am blessed. And look at you. You know, you're more blessed than I am. You're a better situation than I am. I ain't even got no husband no My more. My husband gone. <laughs> at least you still got your husband. First lady was like, I, I, I gotta go. I, I, I gotta go. And Stan over there crushing on them cookies. <laughs> the, Man, them, them striped cookies. Had, they had them dollar and 50 cent cookies in that nice box. <laughs> <laughs> that what they did. Cause the grease was starting to seep through the uh -huh. mouth. That was some good cookies though. Them fudge stripe cookies. Man. Good God Almighty. So then over there at Calvary, <clears throat> Bishop is getting ready to take the pulpit. Charity is doing praise and worship. She getting down. She rocking the house and all of this. And before this, Charity has been met with 
Mr. Kevin. Kevin wants to see his god doing son, and if you ain't gonna voluntarily give him the rights to see his son, he's taking it by force. I can't even be mad at him at this point, but we'll talk about that when it come back up. Yeah. So he ends up at the church. Okay, we're gonna deal with that probably tomorrow. <clears throat> Charity ends praise and worship. And you know how her and her father, they always Wait, embrace each other yeah. when they're passing the baton to each other. Well, Bishop went to say, give it up for my daughter, Charity. Man, Bless the Lord. Said, I said, wait a minute. What, and what? he said. He looked like he wanted to smack the dog piss out of her. That's what it looked like he wanted to do. So he went on <laughs> and he um started into his sermon and whatnot. Well, not really, but you looked out in the audience and somebody <clears throat> had raised up to Gigi, that lady came from her neck. And um she was like, where's First Lady at today? Oh, she has color. I said, but first of all, y'all need to get y'all live stream. Yeah, y'all need to line it up. And then Bishop gets on the pulpit and say, I know y'all missed the first lady on this Sunday morning, but she had to go visit her family and take care of <laughs> So the lady said, mm. Mm. So Gigi's out in the audience with everybody else, in the congregation with everybody else, and she notices that Miss Coochie Cross is being a little extra mm -hmm. with everything that Bishop said. Preach, Bishop! God is good all the time. I'm like, Gigi was go. looking at her like, uh huh. I see what you doing. I'm on to you. Yeah. You. I got my sucker. eyes on you. So um, what else um? After First Lady May had had that incident with Keisha Cole Skanks, First Lady Keisha Cole Skanks, Bishop had came back home to get the rest of his skit because you know she told me he couldn't come back home and they won't gonna play that that they won't go play that role. She won't gonna do it with him. So when he came back to the house to get the rest of his skit, to go back to the Biltmore, I assume. Yeah. She said, um, I'm going to go ahead and let you stay here until this IRS stuff blows over. Then after that, we can reconsider what we're going to do. Here. Yeah. So I said, okay. And so now he back in the house and we don't know what's going to happen, but from but the it previews. But it took Keisha Cole, St uh, Keisha Cole Stance to scare her like that in order for her to let Bishop back in that house. <laughs> I'm going to save everything I got to say probably for the mod because it's all probably going to come together on my high parts. Yeah. So, y'all, I don't I don't like the way this church is going right now. Yeah, everything is falling apart. I like my first ladies and bishops to be in harmony. Yeah, you might have some outside conflict, but inside conflict, we I got, need we got to, to take like care. It. We need to take care of that right there. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. That's why. That's why Rochelle is starting to get the upper coochie cross. Rochelle getting the upper hand because she sensed the, the the separation between y'all. Y'all need to sit down, get about a bed, and pray together. Because a family that prays together stays together, straight from the VA. Oh, did you see that um, lingerie that Coochie Cross is getting ready to oh, pull yeah. up on Bishop? She got ready to pay two hundred and sixty-three dollars and ninety-nine cents. Do you really know the exact amount? I do, cause I saw it. For that to entice the bishop, but like you couldn't entice him with something more that looked cheaper than that. What you think? Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty shower. Two up, two down. Ah. Uh, 